All right, here we are with uh, Xander, Xander Zayas, man. What's good with you? You're here in San Antonio, here to support your boy? Yeah, man, I'm here to support my boy Tego, and my know Tego is, you know, he's ready to put on a show Saturday night, and we're, we're ready to take on a, on, a, on a big opportunity for him. Now, your last fight, uh, March 19th in New York, you had a really good showing. Um, a lot of people gave really positive reviews about you. How'd you feel about your performance? Man, I feel like um, I could have I could have pushed it a little bit more in the pace, but um, I feel like overall I did a great fight. I was I was patient with my shots. I was you know trying to to pick everything. You know, being being able to see everything, take my angles, um, for you know use my footwork, my offense. I, I think overall I did good. I feel like I could have done a little bit better, but it's part of the job. We keep learning, we keep growing, we keep getting better. How did it feel to fight in New York in front of the, in front of the Puerto Rican fans and have that support? Man, it feel amazing. You know, a dream come true. Um, now we're waiting to do it in the in the big Madison Square Garden, the real venue. Um, we did at the Hulu Theater, so next is is the big venue. Hopefully. What do you think about the on, on June 11th Puerto Rican Day Parade, something like that? Man, um, we don't know. We don't have a date yet. Um, we're gonna start camp next week for sure. We, we're not sure if we're gonna fight either in, in June 11th or Australia, since my coach is also coaching um, George Cambosis, and he's getting he's getting ready for, for David Haney. Next week I will I will be flying out to Australia with, with them and. Whenever you know, whenever Tupper gives me a call, we'll be ready to put on the show. How do you, how do you feel at 154 pounds? Do you feel that's your weight, or do you feel like maybe you may move up soon, or Man, how, how do you feel, feel? I feel I feel great at 154. I, mean, I have perfecting athletes. My nutritionist, they working with me, and they they make soup. They make everything super easy. The weight cut and and, uh, and the training camp. You know, I feel comfortable at 154, and I'm gonna stay here for for a hot minute. When people tell when people tell you that you're the next Puerto Rican star to come along, like Tito Trinidad, Miguel Cotto, how does that make you feel? Man, it makes me feel, it makes me feel happy about myself, proud of myself. But at the same time, I know that the, the work, the job is not done. You know, we, we still got a lot to accomplish. We still have, you know, things to do. We still have goals to to reach, and we just have to stay focused, stay stay humble, and keep doing what I do best. Do you feel like you're in a good place right now because uh, Puerto Rico and Puerto Rican fans they're looking for that that Puerto Rican star to to grab onto, to Man, to push um, and to hold onto? I, I hope I am. You know, I hope that every every Puerto Rican um, fan is enjoying the show. Every Puerto Rican fan is enjoying what I've been doing so far. I'm happy with what I've been doing. My coach, my my team, my dad, my coach, my manager, they're all happy. So as long as as long as everybody's happy, I'm happy. And, and I think I've been doing a great job. Now you're very young. You're what, like 19, 20 years old. Yes, 19 years old. <laughs> now, how how far do you think you are from from a from a world title shot? Man, I say 2023, the end of of mid 2023 should be a a good year for me to to you know fight for that world title. But again, you just have to stay focused, keep winning fights, and keep getting better. Thanks so much, Andrew. Let the let the fans know where they can, they can find you on social media. You guys can follow me on um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at Xander Zayas. Just my name. Find me there. Follow follow the, the journey. And again, thank you very much for all the support and all the love. All right. Thanks so much, man.